Hey Ben, tell us about the first day at General Convention in Baltimore. So today was the first day at General Convention and the, the main deputation got up early, went to breakfast, then got to work. and. We did all kinds of things. We had we had a Eucharist uh, with the whole House of Deputies. We had lunch with our bishop. But in between those, we had very powerful testimonies about anti-racism work, a commitment to give 10% of the general of the Episcopal Church's budget, uh, free budget to that work. Uh, very powerful uh, voices. And then we heard voices about the indigenous boarding schools, about Indian boarding schools, including people who had actually been at those schools and the Episcopal Church studying that and repenting from that. In addition to that, we passed family medical leave. Uh, we passed uh, paying for deacons so deacons could receive benefits. We uh, included Puerto Rico into the province, uh, province two, which is New York. All kinds of, of fascinating and, and really powerful moments today. Last night when we arrived, there was actually a shooting on the street across from the hotel, and today the Bishops for Gun Violence led a protest, a prayer service, and a rally about uh, gun, preventing gun violence. And, and several hundred Episcopalians gathered at the Visitor Center for Baltimore's Inner Harbor to talk about that, to pray about that, and to sing and, and, and gather together. Just a very powerful witness of God's love here in in Baltimore. So your main convention is your main deputation is is working. Uh, Mark Sparr and I both got to the microphone and uh, others are doing all kinds of things. Uh, Bishop Thomas is just on fire doing what he does best. So so greetings from Baltimore. We love you, we miss you and we love your prayers. Thank you. Bye.